So yesterday we began looking at the parable of the seed and the sower that's found in Matthew chapter 13. And what we discover in this parable of the seed and the sower, what we find is there were four different types of soil. Now there's one seed because it's the gospel seeds, the seed of the kingdom is what Jesus said. And so as that uh, evangelist goes out and he's, sh he's sowing that seed of the gospel, he's sowing that seed of the kingdom, you know, where it lands determines on how it, uh, whether or not it's going to penetrate the soil. And so yesterday we looked at the seed that fell on uh, uh, on the wayside or on the road, those paths that go up in between uh, the fields and people walk up on them, travel up on them. And, uh, you know, they, they, they stomp them down and they become hard to where that seed can't penetrate. And so uh, the second type of soil Jesus talked about, and I believe today is probably the most common type of soul uh, is in verse 20 of Matthew chapter 13. And Jesus says, but he that receiveth the seed into stony places, the same is he that receiveth the word in and on with joy receiveth it. Yet hath he not root in himself, but dureth for a while for when tribulation or persecution arises because of the word, the word, by and by, he is offended. Okay, so this is the seed that falls into the stony places. And so what is the stony places? The stony places, it's in the field, okay? And so the, the, they went and they plowed up the field and they plowed this up. But, you know, they, they may not have known because they plowed up the soil that's on the upper side of the field. And so maybe the plow went right over a stone or maybe right over a vein of stones that goes right underneath it. So the soil looked good looks like good soil on the top but that plow went right over that uh, vein of rocks or you know those singular rocks and so as the seed falls down the top soil looks good but there's rocky soil right underneath it or a vein of rock maybe a vein of limestone that's going underneath there and so what happens is that seed gets in there and it's planted in that good soil that's on top but then the uh, it begins to take root but it can't keep going down deeper because that rock is underneath there and so it's just going to stop and so when the sun rises up it's just going to wither away it's going to dry up and so um, you know as Jesus is talking about that um, he has no root and so the the you know it, it sprouted up a little bit had a little bit of a sprout to it but because it didn't have any root um, you know tribulations and persecutions came his way is what Jesus said. And with these tribulations and persecutions, specifically because of the word, because of the gospel, what are you going to church for? What do you, you know, what are you believing in all that stuff for? What are you reading your Bible for? You know, what are you, what are you living for Jesus for? And so all of these persecutions start coming in their way in tribulation because of the word. And they say, you know what? It's not worth it. I'm not going to live that way. But at first, they received it with joy. Oh, they were excited about it. Maybe they were emotional about it. Maybe they're down there on the altar weeping and crying and sobbing and all of these things. And they, they had joy in their heart when they received it. But it didn't take root. And so after a little while, all that joy is gone. And they go their way. They leave the church. They leave the gospel altogether. They're no longer following Jesus. The very short amount of time that they follow Jesus. You see us in church all the time. And people come down to that altar. They're weeping, crying, receiving with joy, all excited. Baptize them. All of a sudden, man, they're gone. You don't see them anymore. Where'd they go? They're gone. Didn't take root. That was not a true salvation. That was not true regeneration. See, I, I totally believe in eternal security. I believe in it with all my heart. See, these people, the seed didn't take root. Never penetrated the depths of their heart to forever change their life. 
to where they would live for Jesus no matter what comes their way, no matter what kind of trial, no matter what kind of tribulation. They know Jesus is worth it. But you know what they said when those trials and tribulations came their way? Jesus isn't worth it. I got saved in the in the fall and you know I was excited all through the summer, but you know, here comes football season. I'm you know, we'll, we'll worry about Jesus later. I don't have time for him right now. He's not worth it. Whatever that comes your way, friends, if he's not worth it, the gospel never penetrated your heart. And you don't truly know him. But the good news is God's not just a God of second chances is a God of many chances and you could truly turn to him and you could truly receive the gospel message and you could truly allow it to penetrate your heart and he will truly change your life forever that's good news good news worthy of sharing so would you share this video so others can hear it and they can receive it and allow that gospel to take root and grow within their heart.